the President of the United States. Last week, I took pride in announcing that one of my most trusted and valued advisors, Judge William Clark, had be, would become Secretary of the Interior. And today I take pride again in announcing that his successor as Assistant for National Security Affairs will be another man who has won my utmost confidence and respect, Ambassador Robert McFarland. Bud brings a treasure of experience and talent to this new post, a decorated Marine, a scholar, advisor to three presidents, a veteran of Capitol Hill, counselor of the Department of State, deputy director of the NSC staff, and most recently, my personal representative to the delicate negotiations in the Middle East. He is ideally qualified to assume these new responsibilities. I should tell you that I was looking for more than experience in filling this post. I also wanted someone of strong principle, someone of keen judgment, and someone who could effectively manage the affairs of the NSC. He shares my view about the need for a strong America, an effective bipartisan foreign policy based on peace through strength. He enjoys the respect and affection of my other principal advisors in the national security community. And working closely with me, he'll provide the leadership and spirit of teamwork that we value in this administration. And Bud, I want to thank you for accepting this new challenge. All of us look forward to working with you in the coming months. Ambassador McFarland will be confirmed as National Security Advisor. Thank you, Mr. President. For someone who has devoted his life and the life of his family to government service, it's a profoundly humbling moment, one for which I'm very deeply grateful to you, Mr. President. The opportunity to serve is for all of us, and for you, the highest gift that any of us can expect, to be given that chance for a cause and for principles in which you believe very deeply is all the more so. I look forward to doing whatever I can to helping the completion, the fulfillment of the promise of President Reagan's goals on national security affairs. They have stemmed a tide and they have set us on a course which I believe deeply will prove Spengler was wrong, that the West can indeed define its interests, defend them, demonstrate freedom, democracy, free enterprise as the hope of the future. Again, on behalf of my family, I'm deeply grateful. I look forward to working with Secretary Schultz, Cap Weinberger, Bill Casey, and further stewardship of the President's program. Thank you. Mr. President, what about Jean Kirkpatrick? What will happen to her now? And Jean can you tell us who will represent you in the Middle East? May I say that uh, there was a lot of speculation and declarations that uh, were based again on those faceless and nameless sources. Jean Kirkpatrick is ambassador to the United Nations. She continues there as ambassador to the United Nations, where she has done, I think, as magnificent a job as anyone who has ever held that post, and probably more so than most and she is invaluable in what she's doing. You're not offering her another post here in Washington? Jean is continuing as ambassador to the United Nations. What about, uh, what about the Middle East envoy's job, Mr. President? What? What about the Middle East envoy's job? Will you, re will you appoint a new envoy? This is going to be one of my hardest tasks now because of the excellence of the job that was done by Ambassador McFarland. Are you saying you will appoint someone else, what? sir? Well, we can't. We can't. Uh, walk away as if that 
problem doesn't exist, it still exists, but he has done a magnificent job there. In bringing will, you change, will you change the Marines' order at all? Who's, oh, excuse me, sir. What, who's, what? Wow, wow, we letting our Marines be there to get killed every day? Because I think it is vitally important to the security of the United States and the Western world that we do everything we can to further the peace process in the near in the Middle East. Do you think your Middle East policy needs any adjustment now, or are you pleased that it can continue the way it is? Well, no one can be pleased until you finally get them at a negotiating table talking peace. But uh, we have made, I think, progress in a spot that is vitally important uh, to the free world. And no, we're going to continue, and I hope that we will continue what uh, Ambassador McFarland has so successfully brought, at least to this point. You have someone in mind, sir? You have someone in mind for that Mideast job, and when do you expect to make that announcement? Uh, I don't. I haven't progressed that far as yet. I will be discussing things with the new National Security Advisor. Thank you. Will the Pershing missiles be installed on schedule unless something more is done than you assume? We have no plans to change the scheduled deployment. Will you announce your uh, what? re-election? What? When will you announce your candidacy for re-election? Say, that's a change of subject, isn't it? <laughs> I thought I would just leave that question to the ambassador. <laughs> are, you saying, are you saying that Jean Kirkpatrick is happy in her job and all the reports are untrue that she wanted to come back to Washington? Uh, as far as I know, she's happy and... Uh, as I say, she has performed a great service there. I think that she has done so much for this country. That she's invaluable. Will she stay on for the rest of your term? Uh, anybody tells me I have to get out of here. <laughs> Will she stay on for the rest of your term? Mr. Kirkpatrick. Thank you, Mr. Kirkpatrick. Thank you, Mr. Kirkpatrick. Thank you, Mr. Kirkpatrick. Thank you. that will put the United States on 10 minute targeting if we go ahead with INF deployment. What do you say to that, sir? I think. A Soviet general was quoted today, sir, as saying that if you go ahead with an INF deployment, that the Soviet Union will deploy new missiles to put the United States under 10 minutes warning of the I don't exactly take a Soviet general's word as being authoritative on anything. <laughs>